Jonathan Kovac, well, welcome to you aboard. It's been a while since I've been able to get a webcast on the air, working a lot more hours than what I was expecting, and not much time to get the webcast on, let alone even text message updates. So thank you so much for your patience. The good news is that our temperatures are hovering right around the normal mark for the month of, I want to say the month of August. We'll have to review that, along with a lot of summer-based highlights coming up in the next little bit as I focus on the review of July's weather conditions. Today's weather conditions from the Timmins City Hill webcam. Mid-afternoon, low overcast ceilings, light rain and mist dominating the Timmins region, overcast skies with light drizzle for capital casing this evening and overcast mist for Timmins. And actually the winds are calm going into the evening hour. Way up north, north of the Trans-Canada Highway for our neighbors up in Moosonee, Attawapiskat. Beautiful day over there with the sun shining over Moosonee. In fact, a beautiful shot of the twilight that's the sun setting over the western horizon for the area of moose City. so we welcome my northeast ontario extreme northern ontario viewers to this webcast our systems placements for this afternoon well first we did welcome a, a fresh breeze from the east southeast that's accompanied by this frontal boundary that's sitting across the great lakes comfortably across the great lakes barometric pressure 29.95 inches 101.4 kilopascals it's holding steady it's not moving whatsoever because the positioning of the slow pressure system over Minnesota is creating this counterclockwise movement of wind and cloud cover and timing is everything with this frontal boundary as it pushes some cloud cover northward towards northeast Ontario that could ruffle up the feathers for your Monday as we play around with a bit of wind a little bit of warm temperatures and some humidity which could spark some active weather going into Monday we are seeing the active weather already affecting areas between Gorbay and Sault Ste. Marie going into this Sunday evening cloud cover it's in progress, folks. It's moving from south to north. Most of northeast Ontario has been under overcast skies for part of Sunday. There's been some clear breaks here and there, but the cloud cover will not be shy to trickle in. Same with the fog patches. You'll see that with the forecast details coming up on the templates after this on-camera report. Real-time wind chart, high pressure spinning over Virginia and U.S. Northeast, welcoming a wide open window of winds from south to north across the Great Lakes. It's also thanks to two low pressure systems or a frontal boundary, series of lows if you would across the Great Lakes, and a low pressure system way up there towards the Fox Basin, that's halfway up between Hudson Bay and the North Pole, is also steering the wind flow from south to north across northeast Ontario. Last but not least, radar picture for the mid-afternoon between two and five o'clock. This is the first and only batch of rain and drizzle that we experienced throughout the day today. It just kind of came and went. Rain changed the rain showers and gave way to overcast skies and mist late Sunday evening.